In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install the custom brushes I created for Rebel. You'll need to download the brushes from the course page before moving forward. This is a compressed folder that you'll need to extract using a free application called 7-Zip, or by using the extractor built into your operating system. You can do this by right-clicking on the file. There are two ways to bring in this content. First, you can open Rebel and use the File Import Assets command, or choose Import from a panel like the Brushes, for example. You can select one or more brushes to import. Whichever brush tool and category is currently selected is where the imported brushes will go. I prefer to put mine in the favorites to keep them separate from the default brushes. It also makes it faster to select them since I don't have to switch between tools, but feel free to sort them however you like. This method works fine for importing a brush or two, but let me show you a faster way. Open the library folder found in the help menu. This shows all of the customization files for Rebel. Anything you import into or create in Rebel will end up here. The brushes folder contains all of the brushes in Rebel sorted by category. You can find your favorite brushes here as well. Favorite is the directory that contains all of my custom brushes. If you've created any of your own brushes, you can find them in the Brushes folder. If you labeled the brushes as Favorites, they will be located there. In the Favorite folder is a subfolder called Default Set. Inside of that folder are more folders that are used to categorize the brushes. You can use folders like this to sort your own custom brushes as well. Inside of each of those folders are the individual brushes. Depending on your needs, you can either copy all of the brush folders into the corresponding folder in your Rebel library, or you can copy individual brushes if you don't want everything. You need not worry about the thumbs folders since those are created automatically. I do want to copy all of the brushes, so I'll just select all of those folders and then drag them into the same folder in my Rebel library. You'll need to transfer over your brushes each time you upgrade to a new version of Rebel. Inside the Brushes folder, you'll also find folders for shapes and grains. These are the custom dab shapes and grain patterns I use for some of my custom brushes. You must copy these to the same directory in the Rebel library in order for those brushes to work. Next, restart Rebel to get it to recognize the new files. Now you should be ready to use my custom brushes. I didn't have you delete the default folder in your Rebel library, just in case you had already created some custom brushes in there. If this is empty, you can delete it, or if there are brushes in there, you can rename it or move the brushes to other folders to sort them. You can either drag the brushes into other groups or do it in the Rebel library folder. As you can see, whatever changes I make in the Rebel UI are reflected in the library folder. That default folder is no longer there since I removed it. The folders will be automatically sorted alphabetically, but you can rearrange them by dragging on the right side of the name tab. Just as well, you can drag to change the order of the brushes if you like. Once you've added new brushes to your workspace, you can back it up by copying the brushes or the entire library folder. If you ever have to reinstall Rebel or you upgrade to a new computer, you can easily replace the files with your backup to instantly restore not only your brushes, but also your preferences and other custom content like layouts. That's all for this tutorial. Enjoy the brushes and check out some of my Rebel courses if you'd like to learn how to use them.